hello friends in this video this is a magento video so in this video what we are going to learn we are going to learn about the magento to product collection with filters okay so here we are going to learn about the filtering the data of the products okay so this is very helpful in the uh, api session so whenever you want to return the data on the basis of the filters selection like the activity bag strap price features material style anything that you want to add the filter this video will going to help you okay so see so here we have a resource model product collection where we have attribute to select style bags which is activity style bags which equivalent to 24 activity is equal to this so this kind of things that is for the attribute to filter so how we are going to make it dynamic like uh, suppose uh, from the mobile app someone is sending the data like i want the filter with the style bags with the activity with this one so this kind of things are helping in when you create an API and returning the data accordingly. So on that note, do you want such kind of things? Just let me know in the comment section because I have it. Okay. So let's move in with because this is the product collection with the filters. So let's start with it. So here you can see that we have attribute to select attribute to filter. So you can add anything attribute to filter like visibility should be catalog search anything so this this way you can filter the data on the basis of status on the basis of visibility so whenever you try to get the data in the api on the basis of that you can put the filter with whether it is enabled status or visibility okay or you can these are the all you can see uh, you can see that all the things you can attribute with the filter with greater than price is greater than 25 less than greater than equal to 25 less than this less than or equal to is equal to so all these are you can use with this one is not equal to not equal to like like not like uh, if or if attribute to filter like uh, you can say the activity array consists of like 15 24 anything so whenever we have selection Whenever we have a selection like in the array, suppose uh, I want to send like you can say I want the bags we having uh, blue color, red color, green color. On that note, you here on here you need to send the array array results so it will return you all the collections, right? So not in array like this. It should not include this one and uh, null click, null you can also add not null you can also add attribute to the filter so these all are the filters which is very helpful in the returning the data with the product collection and very helpful in the api creation okay so uh, that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video have a great day any issue in that just let me know in the comment section have a great day